good. Hey, what is up guys, Wizzle here and today I have a very interesting video for y'all. Some brand new information, new leads, let's get into this guys. First of all, before we begin, I would like to give Debus Gaming a huge shout out. I saw the information on his channel first, so be sure to show him some love guys. So the famous hamburger sign. Most people probably haven't heard from this name or sign yet, but let me change that. It is actually something very interesting and definitely worth mentioning as it could lead to something bigger. It is about this sign in Pelido Bay. Not the big one, but the yeah smaller one, the one over here. This is a decrypted message or code or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it has some numbers, some letters, a name and even some coding. The percent sign with the O and the Y after it is a code that is often used in Linux coding. So yeah, because this code is in there, I can almost guarantee you guys that Rockstar put this in on purpose and yeah, that it's not just a coincidence or something. But what about the rest of the code? What does it all mean? That's what we have to find out. Well, Dibus Gaming give it a shot, he has a great theory about the numbers. The numbers um, on the sign say 19390, so basically 1939 and then a zero. The zero doesn't ring any bells to me, but if we forget about the zero and take 1939, it is the year where World War II started. This is also the number that is displayed on all the jerry cans in GTA V. And also, in the year 1939, aka 1939, the Germans invented their own UFO, what is called the Honabu 3. Yes, you heard it right, UFO. Hmm, don't we have UFOs in GTA 5? Yes, we do. So, this is a great theory and it does make a lot of sense, but the only thing which just doesn't add up is the missing zero. Keep in mind this information is linked to the number 1939 and not 19390. So we might have to dig a little bit deeper into this, but for now it is some great info. So moving on, yes there is more guys. It seems that people are reporting things that randomly got abducted in the yeah world of GTA 5. I know it is not that clear, it sounds a bit vague, things that got abducted, but we have some footage. So, you tell me, is it fake or is it real? Personally, I have no idea. If you take a closer look at it, it yeah, just can't be edited. The graphics are like 720p or something, it is on last gen and because the graphics uh, are so low, you can't motion track properly because yeah, motion tracking is basically editing stuff in a clip you record it. And even if the screen moves, the thing you added to the clip moves with the screen. So it looks like it is in the game, but in reality, it is yeah, just edited in and it moves with the screen. That's basically what motion tracking does, but therefore, to do it properly at least, you need a high quality clip. And since the clip isn't in high quality, probably only like 720p or something, this is not possible. If you don't believe me, the next piece of information will change your mind, guaranteed. So first of all, Sheila Hitano, the girl from Weasel News. She talks about a homeless guy getting abducted by the cement factory. She tells this in one of her TV radio shows and after hearing this, some people who know the game files on their fingertips did some digging into the game files and actually came up with places where a possible abduction could take place. 
there are actually three places in the map where we can either get abducted ourselves, where someone else, a pedestrian or something, can get abducted, or they are places where we need to stand and from there we can see someone or something get abducted. But obviously we need to find the right triggers for it, the triggers to, yeah, trigger these events. And yeah, as we all know, a few of these triggers could be the time, place, date, weather type, character, etc, etc. These are the places on the map according to the modder or file checker. Again, this isn't my information, I haven't found this. This is information that gets provided to me, so I don't know if it's legit or not. Maybe some of you guys can check it out in the game files, because yeah, I don't know anything about the game files, but I would say it's worth checking out, at least. Then, the next piece of information, what ties in just perfectly with the information we have talked about previously. Do you guys remember this sign? This is the sign that is displayed on the crate where the flying artifact from Omega is laying on. And this sign is displayed on a tower over here. And guess where this tower is located guys? Next to the cement factory where Sheila Hatino from Weasel News reported an alien or UFO abduction. I'm definitely seeing the connections here. That's just, yeah, very interesting. So guys, unfortunately, that's all we have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the mystery video. It's been a while since we have found some info like this where we can actually do something with. So yeah, that really hypes me up and I hope it does the same for you guys. Please drop a like on the video. If we could reach 800 likes, then that would be absolutely insane. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, I am still a bit demotivated because of yeah the situation I'm in right now. But I'm doing better every single day, so bear with me, please. Guys, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, so you will never miss out on any future uploads. And I'm out. Bye. Hoochie.